Many times I say, some people are so poor, so poor, so absolutely poor that all they have is money. If you want to truly know how rich and wealthy you are, then drop a tear and see how many hands actually come forth to wipe that tear. Ladies and gentlemen, our true wealth, our true richness is people, our connections with people, our interpersonal relationships with people. Isn't it often said that our net worth is equal to our network? And when it comes to networking and our connecting to people, very often we just have the tendency to connect to and network with those apparently big guys, the more important ones, or as they call them, the big guns. And isn't it true that we do not want to rub shoulders with the apparently less important or the smaller guys? Even in the game of chess, if we simply network with the king or the queen or the bishop or the knight or the rook, and we do not pay attention to connecting and networking with these little pawns. Who's going to play the role of the pawns? Even those little guys in the front are important. They play their respective roles to bring the ultimate victory to one who plays chess. And thus, whether it's the game of chess or it's the game of life, if we want victory and success, we have to connect with people at all levels, from big to small, from president to resident. We have to network, connect, and have interpersonal relationships with everybody. A group of 70 scientists were working on a project as a deadline. These 70 scientists were so absolutely under pressure because of their hectic work and the deadlines. They were really finding it hard, but they were so loyal to their boss, they just kept going. One morning, one of the scientists came to the boss and said, there's an exhibition in town and I promised my children to take them for the exhibition. Is it okay if I leave at 5.30, the boss said, we're really working on a deadline, but since you've promised your kids, you can actually leave at 5.30. The scientist was happy. <coughs> he continued to work in his office, and when he looked at his watch, he had been so involved and absorbed in his work, he saw it was already 8.30 p.m. Oh, he felt so guilty that he had promised his kids that he would take them for the exhibition and he hadn't gone home at 5.30. He came to his boss's cabin and saw the boss was not there as well. The scientist packed his bag and came home. His wife was sitting in the living room reading magazines. He knew that the situation was extremely explosive. Anything he would ask or say would just boomerang back. His wife looked at him and said, would you like to take a cup of coffee? Or would you like to go for dinner straight? <coughs> he said, well, if you prefer coffee, I don't mind taking a cup of coffee. But where are the kids? The lady said, at about quarter past five, your boss came home and took the children for the exhibition. What had happened is at five o'clock, the boss had come and seen that the scientist was so absorbed and engrossed in his work and had completely lost track of time the boss knew that he wasn't going to leave office at 5.30. The boss personally went to the scientist's home and took the scientist's kids for the exhibition. Now, the boss didn't have to do this again and again. Even that one time he did it and made that investment, the kind of commitment that came from all the scientists that worked under him was incredibly amazing. This is why all these 70 scientists worked 
with such commitment at Thumba under their able, capable and super sensitive boss. Guess who the boss was? Late Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, the former president of India, the master mind behind the space research and the missiles project of India. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, greatness is not just about rubbing shoulders with the big guys. The true symptom of greatness is how we treat the apparently small and the least amongst mankind whom we work with. Therefore, if we truly want to achieve success, we must connect to the big and the small at all levels. We must treat them all with respect, dignity and sensitivity. Thank you.